Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create image and text slider in Elementor. Let me show you an example of the text and image slider. This is the first slide and you will see an image is in the background. You will see the Ken Burns effect. The image is zooming out and this is the title. This is description and this is call to action button. Let's move to the next slide. On the next slide, we have different image, title, description and a contact button. Let's move to next slide. This slide does not have background image. This one has only the color as a background. Then we have title, description and call to action buttons. Each slide can be customized individually. You can change the style setting of each slide. And to create this image and text slider, I'm using Elementor Pro plugin. So the slides widget is available in the Elementor Pro plugin. So if you are using Elementor Pro plugin on your website, you can use the built-in slides widget to create this slider. If you do not have Elementor Pro plugin, you can try using third-party plugin to create slider. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how you can create a professional slider using a free plugin. The name of the plugin is Depictor. This plugin has free as well as premium version. I have also published a video on how to create slider using revolution slider plugin this one is a paid plugin if you want to watch these videos i'll give you the links in the description box you can watch these videos in this video we are going to create text and image slider using elementor pro plugin so let's see how does this work so here i'm logging to the dashboard of the wordpress website this is a demo website and on this website i'm using elementor and elementor pro plugin now we are going to create image and text slider using elementor in one of the previous videos i have shown you how to create hotspot on images using elementor this is the hotspot that we created in the previous video if you want to learn how to create hotspot i'll give you the link in the description box you can watch that video now we are on the demo page let's create a new section here and click on plus sign and here search for slide now you will see three different options image carousal slides and carousal the image carousal widget is available in the free elementor plugin and to use slides and carousal you will need elementor pro plugin so here we are going to use the slides widget so click on it drag it and drop it here and this is how it will look this is the slide one then we have slide two and slide three here you will see the title this is the title this is the description and this is a call to action button in the background we have different colors which we are going to change with the images so the image will always be in the background and the title description and call to action button will be on the image itself in the left hand panel you will see the settings of this slide and this is how the slide will look now we will make it full width so select the section here and let's make it full width the content width will be full go to advanced and make the padding zero and margin zero now this is how it will look this will be a full width slide now let's go to slides again we have three different slides here and each slide can be customized separately so let's go to the first slide and you will see the background content and style option currently the background is set to this color we can change it to image so i'm going to select one image click on image and i have already uploaded some images on this demo website so i'm going to use one of the images as a background so i have selected this one click on select and you will see that image is in the background and you will see the size settings for the image currently it is set to cover you will see contain and auto so if i go back to slide one here this is how to look Content will look like this and cover will look like will look like this. So I'm going to select cover. Then we have Ken Burns effect. Let's enable it and you will see the movement in the image. So this is the Ken Burn effect. You can change the direction. It can be out or in. Zoom direction will be out or in. This is how the out will look. And this is how the in zoom direction will look. Now we have this title, description, call to action button. Below that you will see background overlay. Now this title does not look good on this image. So we are going to add background overlay color. So enable background overlay and you will see a slight background overlay color. If I go to color here, you can select different colors. And let's change the opacity so that it will 
so that the image will look like this all right so this is the background overlay color now the title is also looking good you can change the color from here all right we will make changes later this is the background for the first slide then we have content and you will see the slide one heading this is the title and this is the description so you can change it let's change it to something else and i'm going to add description here so this is the description we will change the style settings later and this is the button let's say contact us and you can link this button with the contact page for example i can go to dynamic tags go to internal url content and let's search for contact page now this button will be linked to contact page so if i click on it it will go to contact page then you will see style settings this is the style setting for this slide only if you want to use the global style settings then do not make changes here i'll show you how the style settings work for the individual slide let's go to the second slide here i'm going to select the image for the background so i'm going to use this image and the size will be covered i'm going to add the cane burns effect also and let's add the background overlay color okay so this is the second slide and here you can change the content this is the title and let's add the description and this is going to be the text for the button and you can link this button with other page then we have style settings we will go through that later let's go to the third slide here and let's change the background image or let's leave it as color we are going to use color for this slide content let's add the content again all right so we have got three different slides so if you want to add more slides you can click on add item and add a new slide below that you will see the settings for the slide this is the height currently it is set to 400 pixel let's make it 500 pixel and you will see increase in the slide height let's make it 600 pixel and this is how it will look this is the slide now here instead of pixel you can also use em rem and vh i'm going to use vh and let's make it 100 percent height this is the 100 percent height Below that you will see title html tag is set to div if you want to change it to h1 h2 you can change it to h1 or h2 description html tag is also set to div then we have slider options navigation is set to arrows and dots you will see the arrows here and dots will be shown on the image autoplay is also set to enabled so it is going to move the slides automatically then we have pause on hover if i move the cursor on the image it is going to pause the slide pause on interaction is also enabled autoplay speed is 5000 milliseconds which is nothing but five seconds infinite loop is also enabled then we have transition is set to slide there is another option that is fade so now you will see the fade effect so instead of slide you will see fade effect so I'm going to change it to slide and transition speed is 500 milliseconds. Below that you will see content animation. It is set to up. You will see different options here. If I set to right, you will see the content will come from the right. This is the content. Now, this is how it will look from the right hand. If I change it to zoom, you will see the zoom effect for the content. This is the zoom effect for the content. So I'm going to keep it on zoom. At the top, you will see style settings. Content width is set to 66%. This is the content, title, description, and contact us. And the width for this content is set to 66%. I'm going to change it to, let's say, 80%. So now it is going to take 80% width of the entire slide. You can also add some padding. This is horizontal position. You will see the horizontal position is set to center then we have vertical position which is also set to middle if i change it to top you will see the content at the top and if i change it to bottom you will see the content at the bottom let's delete this section here okay now this one looks good 
let's change it back to middle and for the horizontal position you can set set it to left or to the right or to the center below that you will see text align which is currently set to middle or the center i'm going to change it to left and this is how to look or you can change it to right let's change it to left then we have title spacing you can change the spacing between the title and the description let's make it 30 pixel then we have text color which is already set to white i'm going to keep it on white and you can change the typography the size let's say 60 pixel this one looks good make it 700 weight will be 700 bold let's make it 80 pixel for the title go to description here you can add the spacing text color is set to white and typography i'm going to change the typography let's change the font style this does not look good so i'm going to change the font family let's try this one and let's change the font size also let's make it 30 pixel so this one also looks good you can also change the width let's make it 500 go to button and for the button we are going to change the size to let's say large border width you can also change the border width let's make it two pixel border radius and change the background color let's change the background color to this one this one looks nice and this is the text color for this one and you can also change the text typography for this button border color is set to white you can change the border color let's go to the navigation these are the navigation settings position of the arrows is inside inside on the slide itself you can change the size of the arrows like this you will see the change in the size let's change the color also let's make it yellow color this is for the pagination which is at the bottom space and size you can change the space and size i'm going to change the color so that it will be visible okay so you will see the pagination dots here let's change the active color so this is the active slide the third one is having green color all right let's go back to content now let's publish it and let's see how does this look let's open the page and this is how the slide will look we have the background image and you will see the cane burn effect the image is zooming in then we have title this is the title this is the description and this is the button if i click on it it will go to contact page now the cursor was on the slide itself so that's why it was not changing now it is changed to second slide you can also change the slide manually using the arrows the third slide has the background color only now let's go back and let's go to this third slide and we are going to change the style settings for this one only so each slide can be customized individually so let's go to style settings for this third slide let's change it to bottom and text align will be on the right hand side so if i go to third slide you will see the change the text or the content is in the bottom right hand corner so you will see the change in the style settings for the third slide only so these are the basic settings of the image and text slider so if you are using Elementor Pro plugin, you can use the built-in slides widget to create the text and image slider. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.